right, guys. Brian and PS4 trophies and we're heading to Paris in the Hitman doing the showstopper uh, mission here. And we're actually going to run through this and do the Silent Assassin Suit Only Challenge. Now, that requires you to only kill your two targets, Victor Novikov and Dahlia Margolis. And then along the way, I'm going to earn the Meeting the Reaper Trophy. And uh, we're going to actually complete nine challenges in this, including the Silent Assassin Suit Only Piano Man, uh, Invitation Upstairs, the Personal Touch No Evidence, I'm Invited, and then of course the Mysterious Mr. Reaper, which is where we're going to earn the Meeting the Reaper Trophy. So first, let's interrupt this uh, broadcast. It's kind of one of the nice touches about this game. There's so many ways you can uh, approach a mission, so many different interactions, that each time you play this, it's almost a completely different game. You can start off in multiple different points, so it's a lot of fun, there's a lot of things you can do. In fact, doing the Silent Assassin Suit only method that I'm doing here is probably only one of dozens of ways that you can accomplish this. But first, we need to go get our invitation to the auction upstairs, and you can find that in this bathroom. Now, if you brought a gun into this mission, uh, go ahead and dispose of it. I'm going to just throw it in the trash can here. You can choose to enter the mission without a weapon. But if you did, make sure you dispose of it. Now we're going to go and head upstairs. And our first task is going to be uh, taking care of Victor Novikov. We're going to kill him. Again, to get the Silent Assassin suit only trophy, you can only kill those two targets. You can't kill anyone else. And you also cannot change into any disguises. So with that invitation, we can come back here and then show these two guards our uh, invitation. They'll allow us to come in. Now we're going to enter the room here to the right. Now you're going to see a couple guards at the base of the stairs just ahead. Uh, you can walk near them. They're fine. But they cannot see you entering the next room we head into. So the next room is going to be just over here. So what I'm going to do is use a coin to distract them. I'm going to turn their attention away from the door I'm about to enter. So you can throw it to the right of them, or if you want, you can just throw it to the left of them, as long as they're not looking this direction. So there we go, we tossed the coin, they're looking that way, so now I can enter this room. They cannot see you entering this room. Now you have this diorama right here, and we need to put a coin in here, but first let's make sure they can't see us. And we're going to actually wait for our target, Victor Novikov. Now, this takes about two and a half, three minutes for him to path all the way up towards us. So I'm going to skip forward a few minutes. And you can see him in the front right over there in, in the makeup room. And he's going to start walking to the left. And when he does, I'm going to throw a coin into this machine. And it's going to draw him and his personal bodyguard into this room. It's going to change their pathing. What's going to happen now is they're going to walk to the, uh, through a door to our left. So as they're walking away, I'm going to sneak up behind his personal guard and take him out. Again, you can only subdue him. You can't kill him. Now, you have to be careful here. You want to make sure you subdue his bodyguard right before he exits this room. If you do it too early, someone in that makeup room is going to see you. So right about here is a good spot to subdue him. And conveniently, there's a trunk right here, a chest thing we can just drop his body into. And then we're going to pick up his gun so no one can see it and be suspicious. Now at this point, uh, Victor's walking around without his personal guard. And if we wait just a moment, I'm going to ta uh, equip the fiber wire here. If we wait just a moment, he's going to path back uh, this way and walk to the left of the door. He's going to walk right past us. And as he does, we're going to exit the room and we are going to assassinate him from behind. There is no one here that you have to worry about seeing, but we do need to drag his body off. So we're going to drag him through this door, and we're going to drop him into a storage down here in the in the bottom of the stairs. Now, uh, take good uh, use of the save, the manual save options in this. Uh, now would be a good time to create a manual save. Uh, maybe actually at the diorama, uh, that probably, just in case you screwed up, would have been an even better place to create a save. But you can create multiple save, manual saves. Now I highly recommend you do it just in case you screw something up. Alright, so now we're going to head back upstairs, but be careful. There's this uh, guy right here who can spot you. He may already be sitting over here to the, our left. He may be pathing from our right. But just make sure he can't see you. And we're going to head back into the diorama room and kind of make our way back. the way we came. So you've got those two guards at the bottom of the stairs. 
As long as they don't see you going Sir, into that other room, you should be okay. Uh, move on. Now we're going to go to the base of these stairs, and we have to show these guys our invitation. Now we did pick up a gun, and we are going to get frisked. Invite so you have to dispose of the gun at some point. Maybe putting a, dropping the gun down where we uh, stored Victor would have been a, a good place. But I do it up here instead. And there's the I'm invited challenge. So now we're heading towards Dahlia, and we're going to get the uh, meeting the Reaper trophy, and that's uh, disguising yourself as Tobias Reaper. So we're just going to quickly here drop our gun, because we can't go up any higher without getting searched. Probably not the best place to put it. This guy could have maybe have spotted me. I'm not sure. But now we're going to go and get frisked. You nerds? Well, don't be. This is just a formality. So once we're up here, we're going to f make our way to the uh, auction area. And the auction area is where you're going to get the Meeting the Reaper trophy. All right, good job, sir. So as in our suit here, we're just going to uh, find an empty seat. And then our target, Dahlia, is going to come over to us. And then uh, that's when we'll get the trophy. So up in this room here to the left is where the auction is being held. So we're going to sit in this chair right here to the front right. Lovely tuxedo, sir. Blend in. And I'm going to skip about 30 seconds. There's some talking that goes on. And eventually our target is this woman right here. And she's going to walk over to us. And we are going to uh, pretend we're Mr. Tab uh, Mr. Reaper. Who is uh, Victor's friend. Reaper. Tobias Reaper. I'm a friend of Victor's. Well, no matter. Do enjoy the auction, Mr. Reaper. I will see you later. Looking forward to it. And there's the trophy. Now this is a good time to get the trophy just because we can't uh, take we can't take her out any earlier anyways. So she's going to go walk back over there in uh, in about 15-20 seconds she's going to walk out of the room. Now we're going to if you look at the camera direction here uh, there's a door in the back of this room behind the table with all the food. Uh, there's going to be a, a room there. That's where we're. That's going to be the kill room. That's where we're going to kill Dahlia. And just off from it is a bathroom. And we're going to sneak into that bathroom. Because inside of that room is one guard. And we want to dispose of him before Dahlia and her personal uh, bodyguard comes into the room. So you can jump over here and then we're going to shimmy our way off just to this corner here. Now once we're up here, and I'll highlight uh, using the, uh, the vision mode here, hit R1. Now you can see there's nobody in this room adjacent to us except for this one guard right here on the opposite side of the wall. So let's lure him into the bathroom and take him out. You can do that by turning on the clock radio and then hiding and then sneaking up behind him and taking care of him. Again, make sure you don't kill him. Make sure you're only subduing these guys. So don't snap the neck or anything. Now I'm going to turn off the clock radios to not draw any more attention. Drag his body, hide it in the cabinet here. And I'm going to pick up the gun and hide that in the corner of the room. I probably, in retrospect, I might not have had to have done any of this. I'm not entirely sure. But better safe than sorry. Now inside of this room... Uh, there's going to be Dahlia and her personal guard there. What I'm going to do is throw a coin into the corner, back right corner of the room. Now, I kind of have a little bit of a fail here because the doors are closing as I throw the coin. So I wasn't entirely sure what was going on, but apparently the coin took. And she's going to go to the back right corner. As she goes to the back right corner, we are going to take out this other guy, guy in the room. And then we can freely just walk up right behind her as long as she doesn't see the body and she won't due to his location behind the couch. So again, subdue that guy and then you have to kill her. Both 
targets are down. Great work. Now head towards the next. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave these bodies here. And I'm going to exit and pretty much retrace all of my steps to go to the exit. Now there's multiple exits in this game. One of the cool things about it is the many different ways again you can accomplish things. But just to be safe, I'm gonna head back the way I came. Because I do know uh, that I'm not going to be spotted if I go this way. So down the stairs, don't worry about the gun, you will still get the no evidence challenge completed as well. Head back down here, immediately turn around back outside to the party. A party by the way, which doesn't look like anyone's having a whole lot of fun at. And of course, as you complete this uh, this Paris mission, every time you, you, you level up, you gain access to new entry points, places you can start at, um, and new tools and things. So it's one of the cool things about this game. This was probably only maybe a quarter of the entire Paris area, maybe even less than that. The area is massive. Each time you play it, the objective is the same, to kill uh, both Victor and Dahlia, but the methods in which you can do it are, are just so many. But we're going to head out this gate here. We will have completed the mission. Silent Assassin, suit only. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you uh, like the video if, of course, you liked it. And, of course, subscribe.